it it works kind of, but also like you on your show have people perform songs. Which, yes. Which is doable over a radio station, which, you know, doesn't have any lagging and doesn't have any buffering yes. and et cetera. So like to be able to do it over Skype, I feel like would be a lot more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't, you don't have that in-person connection that you do and it kind of, the, the whole flow of the show is, is in person. So yeah, it, it wouldn't have been the same. Yeah, I mean it's it is pretty tough like to do S- Skype interviews, and the only reason I end up like usually doing them is because it's proximity, and I don't have the disposable income, especially now to drive to go see everyone. It's, yeah, I mean fuel yeah, $5 is insane. Gas. Whoo, it's uh it's getting it's getting steep out there, but yeah, it's <laughs> it's not easy to do the Skype interviews because like you said, it it it's unfortunate it doesn't feel as personable. Sometimes you can kind of get along, but sometimes like technology almost dictates the conversation instead of just yeah. having a nice conversation with somebody. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I guess like from my personal experience, I feel like if you're talking to somebody over Skype, you almost have to have that business sense of like, when I'm done talking, I'll sit and I'll look and then you'll pause for two <laughs> seconds and then you'll talk <laughs> and then, you know, that whole thing. So probably, we need, you know, have, we need to make like visual cues to each other when we talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, now we're getting into the whole, I work digitally. So it's, yeah, there's, there's certain things like you got to raise your hand in meetings and things. It's a, it's a, it's a whole thing. It's, it works, but holy moly, you're, it yeah. does feel um, impersonable, but that's like the other crazy thing is you get, you get people to actually willing to come down there. And I'm, like I yeah. said, I've known a lot of people from my area, which is North central Iowa who have been down yep. in your direction, which is, you know, it's got to feel good for you and it's also got to feel good for them because they're getting promotion in an area they normally wouldn't. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've had people from basically every corner of the state make the drive to Oskaloosa to be on. Um, you know, I had like Randy Burke, he's from Atlantic, Iowa. So he had quite the drive for him not too long ago. Um, I've had some artists from up around the Waterloo and Bellevue area, which is up on the Mississippi river. Um, they made like three hour trips to come be on the radio for a half an hour, which I feel kind of guilty about doing that sometimes, but I'm not making them do it either. <laughs> They're willingly making that drive to, to come be on the radio. And it's always a lot of fun. And uh, I think, I think they get a kick out of it. Well, I think you're doing a really good job. Cause I've listened in. Um, like you said, what you're doing is I, I know who's on there every week and I, I hate to just be the guy that admits it outright here on the podcast, but when my friends are on, I definitely listen. Yeah. But, oh yeah. Which is, you're doing exactly what you said. You're bringing in listenership from outside and now we're all aware that you exist in what you're doing and your radio station. Yes. Which yeah, it's a, it's a two way street there. Cause yeah, KBOE and myself are getting promotion while the artists are getting promoted as well, just in different areas. So, I mean, like this is for anybody that's out there that's listening. That's a musician. If you don't know this exists and you're a country artist, this, <laughs> this guy might be one of your new best friends this year. So uh, it could very well be worth hitting him up. Uh, it is, it's a lot of fun because yeah, something like that. I've, I've been able to be able to be the first radio station to break a lot of these artists and play their, uh, studio stuff on the air for the very first time, which, you know, is, is a big thrill for them. And it's a big thrill for me to be able to do it because, you know, that that's going to put me in their memories forever. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. No kidding. 